Good evening and welcome to the public hearing on the FY 2021 school budget. To get the meeting started, I need to first read into the record our, our, the, the rules regarding open meetings during the state of emergency. Due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and state of emergency on March 12, 2020, Governor Baker issued an executive order temporarily suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, GL Chapter 30A, Section 20. Pursuant to the order, public bodies are temporarily relieved from the open meeting laws requirement that meetings be held in public places, open and physically accessible to the public, so long as measures are taken to ensure public access to the body's deliberations through adequate alternative means. This meeting will be held and will be accessible to the public via Brockton Community Access, Brockton Public Schools website, www.bpsma.org, YouTube and Comcast channel 10, channel 12, I'm sorry. The public can access this meeting via this link, www.youtube.com forward slash the Brockton channels. Um, before we continue on, I do need to take a quick roll call vote of the committee to operate the meeting under the revised open meeting law. Uh, so I'll start with the, the mayor, uh, Chair Mayor Sullivan. Okay, um, myself, yes. Mrs. Azak. Yes. All right, um, Mrs. Mendez. Yes. Okay, uh, Mr. Minicello. Yes. Okay, uh, Mr. Rodriguez. Yes. Mrs. Sullivan. Yes. Uh, Mr. Sullivan. Yes. Okay. And I know the mayor is with us. He just stepped away for a minute. So we'll continue on to the next order of business, which is to do a roll call. Oh, mayor Sullivan, um, your vote to operate under the revised open meeting law. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. No problem. Um, okay. And then uh, we'll do a roll call to establish a quorum. Um, and Mayor Sullivan? Yes. D'Agostino, yes. Ms. Asak? Yes. Mrs. Mendez? Yes. Mr. Minicello? Mr. Minicello? Sorry, yes. Yep. That's all right. <laughs> big, big thumb got in the way. Um, Mr. Mendez, I mean, Mr. Mendez, Mr. Rodriguez? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Sullivan? Yes. Mr. Sullivan. Yes. Okay. Um, in accordance with Massachusetts General Law Chapter 71, Section 38N, the hearing is now open for members of the public to discuss the proposed FY 2021 School Committee recommended budget for Brock and Public Schools. The role of the School Committee is to listen to the comments and concerns of the um, the members of the committee will not respond to any statements or questions during the course of the hearing. In consideration of all speakers, I'll ask that each individual complete their remarks within three minutes. Uh, normally, we would have a, a sign-in sheet that would have been available for folks to sign themselves in upon arrival. So if, if you do want to speak, if you could give us you know, your, your name and address so that I can um, record that for the record. Um, and then one other, I apologize, one other thing I want to just mention um, that, um, you know, again, this is an opportunity um, for the public to bring their concerns relating to the budget. Um, and again, we'll hear what you have to say and then um, take that under advisement um, when we go into our budget deliberations in future finance meetings. Uh, so are there any members of the public um, that are with us and would like to speak. All right. Hi, my name is Keely Clark Mills and I would like to speak. Keely Clark Mills. And would you mind stating your address for the record? Nope, 335 Hillberg Avenue. Milberg. Yeah. All right, Keely, thank you very much. The floor is yours for the next three minutes. Thank you. So 
Um, I wanted to address that we have five kids currently in Brockton Public School System, ranging from seventh grade to, um, well, going into eighth grade to um, se a senior um, at the high school. And one of the things that I'm very concerned about is that Brockton continually um, scores um, very poorly on the MCAS. We are, I pulled up the 2019 um, achievement report on the Department of Education's website, and we are um, performing horribly um, and have been for a long time. And I, I want the committee to really consider looking at different ways, um, new ways, innovative ways that they can work with um, the teachers and the students within the city to try to get some of these scores up. Um, just speaking from my own experience, I had to hire a personal tutor for my daughter for math. Um, there, I, I went to the um, to the math department head at Brockton High, who didn't have any suggestions for a tutor. Um, there is no resource in place currently for preparation for a lot of these kids for SATs. Um, we're paying for a private SAT program, and I'm very fortunate that I'm able to do that. However, you know, if you look at the amount of, you know, students who are at a poverty level in Brockton, that also is quite high. And those children don't have the parents that my kids have. They don't have the resources that I have. So they will never, ever have that opportunity. Um, and so for me, it's not just about my kids. It's really about the whole and looking at the greater good for the kids in Brockton. They deserve better. Um, all of our kids deserve better. Just as an example, like math, mathematics for the seventh grade, for the district that it's at 19 and for the state it's at 48, that's horrible. And that was actually one of the lowest numbers and my boys happen to be in the seventh grade. Um, I'm just, it's, it's discouraging to look at. I also um, would really like to see that there's more guidance counselors available. Um, and also that we look at, if you're going to be um, laying teachers off, I would love to have some input into that as I am a parent with, and I deal with these teachers. I think we need to keep teachers in the city. And I know that there's um, due to the unions and stuff like that, but we really need to start looking at the quality of these teachers and who should be here and who shouldn't. Because some of these teachers, in my opinion, should not be teaching the students in Okay, thank you very much done. for your, okay. Thank you very much for your comments and for sharing your thoughts with us this evening. Um, are there any other members of the public who would like to speak? Anybody else? And make sure you unmute if you're, if you're, okay. All right. Um, all right, if there's no other um, visitors that would like to be heard this evening, um, is there, <clears throat> um, I'm gonna, if, again, I'll ask one last time if there's any other members of the public that wanna be heard before we close the meeting. Okay, all right, so seeing no other um, visitors that wanna be heard, um, I'll uh, close the hearing and um, entertain a motion to adjourn from the committee. Motion to adjourn. We have a second? Second. Okay, and uh, I'll call the roll on the motion to adjourn this public hearing. Um, Mayor Sullivan? Yes. Uh, D'Agostino, yes. Ms. Asak? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Mendez? Yes. Mr. Minicello? Yes. Um, Mr. Rodriguez? Yes. Mrs. Sullivan? Yes. Mr. Sullivan? Yes. Okay, this uh, public hearing on the budget is adjourned. I thank all of you for coming and I do thank uh, Ms. Clark Mills for sharing her concerns and her thoughts with us. Um, and uh, we are adjourned until our full meeting at six o'clock.